Getty one of golf's most historic moments, Van de Velde wades through Barry Byrne to find his wayward ball in 1999 it was the scene of the most infamous meltdown in open golf history when, in the midst of blowing a three-shot lead down the final hole, the Frenchman took his shoes and socks off, rolled up his trousers and paddled in the water as he toyed with playing his fourth shot out of it. It remains an iconic image, a vivid depiction of a man losing his marbles. He's gone gaga, observed Peter Alice. Nineteen years on, back the scene of the crime as an on-course commentator for French TV, Van de Velde smiles ruefully and then laughs out loud, somebody has to have his name down here and it is me, what can I do about it? Paul Laurie has a beautiful cup, I have a beautiful piece of stone, he said. Get at victorious Paul Laurie shakes hands with Van de Velde my golfing career will be forever linked to Carnoustie Jean Van de Velde my golfing career will be forever linked to Carnoustie but there are worse places and worse golf courses for that. It is just magnificent course, tough as hell, and I still love this place. It took me three or four days to go through what happened on that 18th hole, looking for answers and thoughts that could help. Luckily a lot of therapy in 20 years hiding in a cupboard worked marvels. We all have our shares of heavy things to carry but the consequences weren't life-threatening. Look where I ray am. I'm still traveling the world, meeting wonderful people, talking about something that's my passion. I've no right to complain, Van de Velde's 72nd hole was a masterpiece in calamity. Get out Frenchman is forced to take his drop shot from deep in the rough, leading him to a triple bogey a wayward drive right was followed by a two iron which ricocheted crazily off the grandstand onto the stone wall of the Barry Burn and backwards 50 yards into deep rough. The hack out plopped sadly into the water. He never actually played the shot out of the burn, he took a penalty drop instead, but Van de Velde happily admits he would definitely have done so but for the tidal nature of the stream, the ball was resting on the sand but the tide was coming up, he recalled. When I looked at it from this side of the burn three quarters of the ball was outside the water, by the time I got around the ball had been totally submerged, I could have hit it but I don't know if I would have made the elevation to get it out so I decided not to play that shot. G-E-T-T-Y-A no doubt disappointed Van de Velde acknowledges the crowd with his runner-up trophy in hand in the circumstances, getting up and down with his chip and six-foot putt for a seven to make it into the playoff with Laurie and Justin Leonard was quite an achievement but the Scott prevailed. The experience could have destroyed Van de Velde, he would never again have the chance to win a major championship, and it had repercussions certainly. His wife Bridget, who was also his psychologist, blamed it for their breakup. But when he reflects on the dream week that ended in a nightmare Van de Velde is at peace with the events that were to define him as a golfer. The Frenchman puts his shoes back on after a dipping in the water to check on his ball, Getty, what goes through my mind is that it was a phenomenal week with a great memories playing golf in what, to me, is the best championship in the world, the Open Championship, he said, I made an enormous amount of friends and maybe revealed to a few people who I am in the way that I take things, we all dream about achieving great things and only a few of us do it. When you're part of that tournament people can somehow touch that magic cup. Some of us drop it but it's something that is very fulfilling. I feel very privileged, no matter what happened on the 72nd hole, some people have their name on the trophy, I have my name on the bridge. At the end of the day it's spelled the same way.